Hey everybody, the Mirror Shield here, welcome you back to another episode of Monster Hunter Try. Let's see. Alright, so I'm settled. In the last episode, we, uh, we gave some meat to Junior, and we need to go get some resources now. Let's go do that. So I suppose I should explain a little bit more, probably. We're going to get more text, and we're going to get some more stuff. So, unfortunately, this isn't the fun part. I know episode one gets, like, all the views and stuff, and it's the most important episode because everyone watches it. But there's a lot of text in it, so, yeah. Hey, it's me, the chief's son. No, no, not junior. No one calls me that. Anyway, check him out. It's expanded. Which reminds me. I know you're still fresh off the boat, Hunter, but I've got a favor asked. I'd like you to gather some resources to help help us restore the uh, help us restore the camp to its glory days. You know what's rich in resources? Carnivores. You're a hunter. Hunt some. As as luck would have it, area six on the map has some carnivores, right for the peel. You should gather some herbs to restore health in case you get banged up. Then go and hunt some carnivores. Herbs grow like Wild grow wild like weeds, even around here. Go pick some. You'd expect me to do everything for you, sheesh. So there's some wild herbs up here. There's some wild herbs. How would you like to say it? My throat is killing me. I'm oh, sorry about that. Anyway, any luck finding those herbs, Hunter? I got a little advice for you. Did you know that the maximum length of your stamina gauge it shrinks over time? Don't worry, it happens to all of us. Well, there's no better cure for stamina shrinkage than a mouth-watering, well-done steak. Why don't you? Why? Why do you think I gave you that barbecue spit? That's not. That, that thing's not for tossing salads, you know. After you get some raw meat, select the barbecue. Yeah, press A. Cook your rare, cook your steak rare, well done. It'll, yeah. So basically, he's telling us how to get this stuff. Ah, so it looks like you found some herbs. You can gather multiple herbs multiple times. Aside from herbs, you can find other stuff in the woods while you hunt. Uh, peek in your pouch for a good idea what you found. Uh, go to six. Yeah. So basically, I'm trying to I'm trying to make skim over the text as much as possible because. There's a lot of text, and obviously no one likes text. So, hopefully you guys can enjoy this. Although, there is lots of text. So, let's run on over to Area 5. Let, let, let's try this barbecue thing out first. Listen. So tasty! Hey, good cooking. It's really pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Take a big bite out of the steak and your maximum stamina will jump out, jump up faster than you can say flame bro jaggy. Go on, select it from the... Yeah, I know, I know how to select it. So if you press C on the nunchuck, you can change items by pressing right on the control pad on the Wiimote. If you press 1, you can use anything in the uh, box. And we just got a lot m more stamina, really. So let's s hop, skip on over to Area 6. Huh? I'll cut when I'm there. Ah, oh, no, never mind. Come and think of it, I didn't tell you. Yeah. So, Monster List. So, but the Monster List is a sneeze. I'm about to sneeze. No. <laughs> Alright. Okay, okay. Anyways, so the monster list, if you go into your uh, menu, if you press 2, and you go into Hunter's Notes, uh, you can uh, press Z and click on uh, Monster, and it tells you some information about it that I won't need right now. Uh, we'll probably use it later. I need to stop saying, uh, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. So... Let's kill this thing. And then I'll meet you guys over in... Uh, oh, nice attack. Maybe you're not such a fresh off the boat hunter after all. Yeah, he's telling us that we can uh, learn more about the resource points. So, that's how he rolls, I guess. 
They see me rolling. They hate in. I can't sing for crap. In case you couldn't tell. Obviously you can. So I'll meet you guys over there. Uh, right now. So. Cut. Now. Alright guys, I'm back. So. I just collected some stuff on the way there. And let's go into area 6. Area 6. Look there, those little carnivores are called Jaggy. Killing those critters is a great way to get resources. If you get your health is slow, don't don't mess around. Use a, f a thing to heal herb. Uh, foc uh, focus on attacking, and you'll never come back. And then we just need to kill six of them. That's all. So I'm gonna gather resources, and you guys can watch while I can, I suppose. Now this is some um, fighting, I suppose you could say. I'm going to carve them because their stuff is valuable right now. Obviously, because we're just beginning the game. So you're going to want to carve everything that you can. You're going to want to collect all the resources you can because it really helps to do that because if you don't, then you're going to be low on resources real soon. And then everyone's sad because you can't fix the camp. No, nobody's sad. I, I don't know, I'm just stupid. I'm just stupid like that. So, yeah. And then you can charge attack by holding up the great sword. As you can see, I can hold it for a long time. And then it boosts up, and then I charge, and then it does a way more powerful attack. There's attack and defense. Defense is from your armor, obviously. And attack and taxes from your weapon there is status ailments that you can have that you can put on, have on your uh, weapon and there's like elements you can have on your weapons too so uh, that's that's about all I can say about that uh, I need to stop saying us uh, again doing it doing it again boy so I'm going to, now that we have, uh, no, bad shot, bad, I need to slap myself, here, let me, let me do that, okay, I'm good, bad shot, don't say, uh, anyways, so, I think I'm going to cut back to the village, or the gate, because I'm just gonna kill a few more, and get some of their resources. So I will see you guys back then. Teleport. Go. I guess. Bye. Yo ho. So you, so did you collect the resources? It's only 30 points. Easy for e easy even for a fresh off the boat hunter. Whenever you get to the back of the village, make sure you give him a hunter report. Yeah. That's about all he says. Let's kill another Aptenoth because I want to have even things. I don't like having uneven resource points. It bothers me because I am OCD. Or it sure seems like it. Because in Minecraft everything has to be symmetrical. It's not a, it it hurts me very badly. Very, 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 very badly. Yeah. Don't ma make everything symmetrical Minecraft, please. Please do. Because it bothers me a lot otherwise. Because I am OCD. I also have to have my stuff in the same slots. Or else it bothers me. You know my items in the hot. Hot bar or whatever you like to call it. And that is my life experience kids. <laughs> Minecraft is my life experience. How's the resource gathering going here? And villager request. Yeah. Yeah yeah. So we need to go to hunt report. And we can gather commodities like dung, fish finder, curb fang. So once you get once you give the report then uh he will I need to stop saying uh that slap really hurt. 
So, I think that uh, Chief has something to say to us, I'm pretty sure, over here. Yep. Show you know some of the villagers. I have a crust on their skin. So the sea folk have a l look a shade different from humans, but it's a wisdom to build and so on. So long, kid. Alright, he likes to stand out there, I guess. So let's talk to the waiver and artisan, because obviously he has something to say. Hey, it's you, fine time. Good, I got a, f I got a wee favor to ask you. If, you. if and you reckon you're going to the hunt in this here village, you'll need, you'll need my help. And this ain't just me tooting my horn. So I've been thinking, let's just, let's give that weapon of yours a little upgrade. So, so you see, he, so you see what this is all about. Ah, uh, ah, uh ah. -huh, uh. Wipe that smile off your face. I, I I ain't swinging my hammer until you fetch me some basic materials first. I know. So basically, he wants us to go get some iron, and yeah, that's about it. So let's. This lady has some stuff to say, but it's not necessary. So let's buy some iron pickaxes and some bug nets. I can only buy two now. So. Let's, let's let's put some of this stuff in our box. I will see you guys out in the woods. See you guys out there. See you guys in the fair wild. Never mind, not not out in the woods. See, kid, I knew you have no trouble rounding up the resources we need. Now we can fix up the base camp for you. Did I heard about the iron ore. Uh, wavens are hard to please them. That guy's the worst of them. I've known him since I was younger, and I tell you. We've butted heads more times than the sky has stars. There's no question in he, his keen eye as an artisan. We'll just have to see what. Uh, you know. Remember seeing a brazen burning? Oh, the torch. So he wants us to go get a torch, and we got 500 more zenny, which is nice. So let's go and not teleport out of the village. On my back. I'm sitting in a funny position. So I think we're going to go for a little bit longer. And then we're going to end off the episode. I need to stop talking about the episode. I, need, I just need to record and I'm just stupid. Sorry. I need to stop putting myself down too. Ah, uh, so after Iron Ore. Glad I don't have to worry about that train anymore. It's going to be Chief. There's an Area 4 is fine. Uh, check the blazing thing. If you got it right, you can pick up Torch right there. Yeah. So that's basically what he was saying. So hopefully I can, uh, hopefully I can shorten the the text a little bit for you guys because it is quite long and takes a while to read if I read it all the way. So basically I'm trying to just skimming over it. Hopefully that's fine with anybody that is there. Pardon my noise in this kid, but you do have a pickaxe, right? Yeah, we do. Market carries iron pickaxes. Yeah, that's nothing. We already knew that because I already bought one. So I'm assuming you guys aren't stupid because, well, if I bought an iron pickaxe from there, then I'm assuming you would know that you can buy iron pickaxes there. Hmm. What I say, kid? Pitch black. Use a torch to shed a little light on the situation. Yeah, yeah. So you bought. You guys can't see anything. I can see stuff fine. So I'll light this torch up. And we can go mining. I will zoom in, and on the map you can press two and then minus, and there's gonna be some text. Once you reach a spot where you mine for ore, you'll see the mining icon. You, if you have a pickaxe, you can mine by simply swinging the nunchuck, or you can even do it while holding the torch. Yeah. So basically, you swing the nunchuck to mine. That's nice it all. Now all you gotta hit, all you gotta do is say that to the max, master blacksmith and smithy. You can mine for the ore, whatever you see, large cracks in the walls, some discolored rocks. So I will speed this up for a minute until I'm done mining. And once I'm done mining, I'll talk and cut back to the village. See you guys then.
Alright guys, I'm gonna cut back to the village, and yeah, if this Jaggy doesn't attack me, I'm gonna kill you first, boy. Joe, I will kill you. You are my victim. Seriously. Come here, you. Come on, you're gonna die. Yeah, you try to ruin my, ruin my, ruin my spotlight, huh? Yeah, I can't do it today, punk. Huh? Yeah, you're all, you're all bobs. Yeah, you're all bobs. So I will see you guys in the village. Cut by teleport. Yeah. No, you're dying. Okay, you're almost back to our village. My wise ancestors said the life of the village is tied to the land around it. They were right. As you explore, collect resources, and car carve items, you'll find your life in Moga all the more enriched. You can even combine materials to make more. A good hunter never stops exploring. My ancestors said, need heed their words and. You'll never go wrong in the mo Moga woods. Now then, I wonder how that old blacksmith liked the, uh, that iron ore he found. Ha! This ought to be good. Well, I'll prove you wrong. I'll prove you wrong, old man. Gonna, gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him the best iron ore he, he ever wanted. You're never gonna get be any better iron ore than I got. Cause I'm the best, man. I'm the best hunter. Yeah, man. I, I kick, I kick Kelby, okay, man, I kick Kelby, in the face, yeah, I just kicked a deer, I'm gonna beat him to this, yeah, that's how I roll, come on, die, this is gonna take a while, yeah, I just kicked him over there, that's right, punk, you didn't think I would do that, would you, huh, yeah, get out of here, not your place. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, that's right, punk. You can't, you can't stop me. Oh man. Dang, can't do it. But you can't stop me, man. I kicked Kelby for breakfast. <laughs> what? <laughs> that made no sense. Oh man, I'm cr I'm crazy. I messed up. I am mentally insane, my friends. And you all know it, probably. Yeah, that's a sad fact of life. Eh, oh well. Do 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 do. Let's talk to him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Build your request. Let's fill this request. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, we can make some iron stuff. Ooh, hunter's mail. I want to make it, but I don't, so... I'd rather buy stuff. So, let's just keep this armor for now. Wait, let's talk to the chief. Boah, well, uh, now, if that ain't a story to tell the grandkids. Of all the pieces of, uh, of ore out there, you managed to find some the old smith liked? Haha. <laughs> you see, kid? <coughs> You see, kid, that's not how you choke. That's a sign. Proof that you're cut above the average hunter. You've got some exceptional judgment. After all, why go out there and risk your neck if all you bring back is junk? Yep, I've got a good feeling about you, kid. Wouldn't be surprised if you saw it all or a little earthquake, mister, too. Anyways, we have to um, get the base camp up before we can say jump and jaggy. Uh... What separates them, uh, gigatons of water. So we have to go... So he's telling us what's the difference between hunting on land and hunting on water. Gigatons of water. Hey, hey yo, I hear you're, you went to the artisan to see this many took a shine to you, didn't he? Huh, well, you aren't, aren't you special. That old son of a gunner is usually pretty stubborn about accepting new folk. While you've been making chums, we've been working hard. The base camp repairs are coming right along, so sit tight. Oh, one other thing. The head farmer was looking for you. Meet him yet? He's another good old boy you'll want to see. The farm entrance is down to the right of the bridge of the woods. Whew. So I think we're going to go see the farmer, and that's going to be the end of the episode. He looks pretty old, man. Well, it looks like we got a farm. Not much of a shroom box, but... And there's a waterfall with a cave behind it, it looks like.
Oh, well, well, if it's in the hunter, everyone's fussing over. Whoop de well, whoop de doo. You see this here farm hunter? It feeds all of, all of Moga Village. Now, notice anything missing? No, that's right, farmlands. This place is normally crawling with farm farming felines. I'll nah nah this and meow meow that. But that earthquake spooked him so bad they hightailed out here. Look at this split. Free cats left me high and dry. That's why the fields look like a pig sign. Uh, no offense, sir, wrong, it's a lot. I'm stuck working all by my lungs myself. This here is what's left of the old harvest. You see that blue sheen? It means I'm one heck of a hearty mushroom. You can't eat this on its own, but my vest will be combined with something. Go on, take it, and make some of it. So he gives us a blue mushroom, and we can cultivate with these cats. So I got some herbs and uh, some excite shrooms and all this stuff. So I suppose we should do some herbs and use some dung uh, as some fertilizer. Unfortunately, we can't go very far, so I think we will talk to him one more time. Hey there, well, look at that. My f so one of them came back. If we want to grow some stuff, we can talk to him and cultivate. Uh, you can grow one plant and they harvest every half day or every day, something like that. So we only have one point of resources. I would talk to him, but we're running around 26 minutes right now. Veggies, veggies, veggies. There's more to the meals than meat uh, during the health boom. Uh, a while back, a lot of us feline cycle organic. So Moga Village is farming is chemical and additive free. We have to use no jiggy extract pesticides ever that's so why vegetables might be the, the prettiest but they definitely aren't the most tasty yeah uh, about the earthquake he's a friend that you can count on uh, so sushi fish place sushi fish so he wants us to rename him let's name him uh let's name him daikon sounds cool now i i think i prefer the new name he gave me Alright, so let's end the video here in this farm. I think this is a quite fine place to end. You can see the Moga Village, and, well, that's the episode. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like or dislike. It really helps me out. But for now, farewell, my Skylins. I kicked Kelby for breakfast. <laughs> what? <laughs> That made no sense. Oh man, I'm cr I'm crazy. I messed up. I am mentally insane, my friends. And you all know it, probably. Yeah, that's a sad fact of life. Eh. Oh well.